three judges scoring this bout, Gabriela. Arturo Pandegari. Okay, again, man, protect yourself at all times. Obey my nice clean one. May the best man win. Touch up. Good luck to both of us. I recall that in a rematch, you can be sure that Ruelas has watched that and will be looking to land. Gotti is another fighter who gets hit. In fact, this is exciting because they they're high-contact fighters who hit and get hit. Two throwback fighters, like you said. Both of these guys come far, far, far lower than what their normal weight is to have this advantage when they bring to fight. They've gained 15 and 15 and a half pounds over 24 hours. That's This will be to fight him at 130. The word is that Gotti will insist Manfredi comes up at 135. That's here in the first round. Willis lands two right hands upstairs. Gotti comes back with a solid right of his own over the top. Watch out. Gabe believes on the other. And he could be the better defender. Willis four fights. Gotti has that many in 29 fights. Gotti looks strong. I got the one. We come back to live action between Gabriel Willis and Arturo Gotti. Discussion of rules in Galata's dressing room. It's worth noting that in an effort to draw some of the attention away from Galata's and Rabbit punch them. Willis landing a quick left hook inside. A little short right hand landed inside for Willis. And an uppercut for Ruelas. And with the history of Gaddy of his face blowing up, it could tell as the fight goes on. A number of punches here. Larry referred to Gaddy's tendency to swell around the eyes. And at least... Yeah, Gabe is landing a, a, a number of punches here on Gaddy this early. Gaddy landing two right hands over the top as Ruelas left him. Wellis allows one to wander low, and the right hand lands for Gotti. Wellis has been flat-footed and slow ever since Gotti caught him inside with that left foot. He slipped. Let's see if Wellis can regain his foot movements as Gotti with the right hand. Show you 
so good. And how Gaddy looked in the late round. So go ahead, try to box him in a little bit more. Okay? Suck is out, let's go. Rinse. Suck is out. Get that water Stay out. Stay right there, Bobby. Stay right, right there. Here. Stay right there. Let's go. Suck is out. 30's movie look, in fact, in one of his better lines among many. Larry Merchant. Something once. like a gap. You know, they used to call the gun a gap. Good combination by a trio Gaddy. And, and there you we, see the yes. power. Take all those unnecessary shots. Outboxing with the jab is effective. It doesn't allow Gabe to land punches, and it keeps him off balance. Don't worry about knocking him out. Get him worked down a little bit, then try to knock him out every now and then. Of course, Larry mentioned five. Deeply disturbed Ruelas. He remained in contact with Garcia's family for a long time, was haunted by the loss of that. Somehow find the inner peace to come back to fighting freely and comfortably at the level at which he once fought. I think they could stand a loss just to see Gabe back at his best. Well, I don't think he has losing in mind. He's landing a terrific... I'll tell you that we're coming right up to one minute to go in the round right now. Left hook to the body, right to the first two minutes of the round. Now finds himself pinned and stationary against the ropes, and Gotti unloads another one of those Gatling gun left hooks. He has bad intent written all over it. Daddy stumbles. Ruelas with a chance. Oh, good body shot by Chiro Gutter. What a battle. <laughs> God, so remarkable to watch. Don't go on war we hate. Come on, keep doing the damage to Gaddy, and it was that one right there. Then a low blow. And a limp rag doll on the corner there, and somehow he is surviving this onslaught Stay in and corner. comes Stay in back corner. at the end of the round. We told you you'd get your money's worth. And Ruelas has come out like he's lined out of how much Gaddy has left and if he can get rid of him right now. Battle of uppercuts, both men landing. Big uppercuts. This is a war. An all-out war. Coming a war of redemption for Gabriel Ruelas. And now here comes Gotti again. Under his left eye now. Right hand bomb, and Ruelas says, hey, you can't hurt me. A vicious weapon for Gabriel Ruelas here tonight. But look at the comment. Emma says, keep him up. Right hand lands over the top. Oh, and that goes good. Ruelas. I don't think he'll make it back. Two well, here big right hands. Shots. And a swollen Gabrielis gets up and it's up and says no more. Can you believe what a drama? Gabrielis came all the way back tonight. Yes, he did. All the way back. We, you know, earlier I said the great. All right, Roy, let's take a look first at the uppercut by Gabe Ruelas that hurt Arturo Gatti early in the round. That was the uppercut that he was landing all night long. That's how he first hurt Gotti, and that's how he last hurt Gotti. There it is, right off the hook. It came right up under his left elbow, and it landed clearly. Shots by left, Gotti. Left hook, I think, is what ended it. Right yep, there. You're right. Right there, and that was all she wrote. Monster left hook. There's the left hook and over it is. I think the thing what weakened Gabriel Ruelas, at the end it was just a matter of time before Arturo caught him with a big shot. What they don't realize well, is as that long as Arturo this, kind of fight, this is what makes Arturo. You have seen this over and over and over again. That's Arturo Gotti's strength to go into battles, to come out, pull victory out of the clinches of defeat. That's his thing. Why would you go in there and swap and trade punches with a guy that can punch and that is known for the seconds of round number five, the winner by knockout victory and still.